So our goal this week is to get this entire upstairs drywall. And um, this half of the house is just bedrooms, so we can just go to town and rock in that. But on this side, there's a bathroom, and the bathroom has plumbing in it, and we haven't done a pressure test yet to make sure all the water supply lines are good um, before we can enclose it in drywalls. The hardest part about any project is just getting started. And this project, our forever home, was especially a challenge. Not only is it bigger than anything that we've ever built, but it's built into a steep hillside and whatever we do or don't do, we're gonna have to live with for the rest of our lives. Now I got all the plumbing done, uh, ran to all the fixtures, and now I need to check and make sure that all my fittings are good. So the way that I do that is I uh, go ahead and pressure test everything. You fill all the lines up with air, and you uh, make sure that they hold a certain PSI uh, for 12 hours uh, or overnight, and that way you know that when you put water to it, you won't have any leaks. Yeah, so I filled it up to 100 PSI, and um, it's slowly dropping, it's losing very little, so somewhere along the lines I got a leak somewhere. Um, you know, it could be very simple, so now I gotta go hunt it down. I found the leak and it uh, should be a pretty simple one to fix, so um, get on to fixing it. Yeah, so now I recrimped this one, so now it's just a matter of... Uh, all it is is uh, soapy water, so if you have a leak, it'll make a bubble. And uh, sometimes you can walk away for a little bit because you have just a really small hole, and so it's barely losing air at all. So you might come back in like five minutes and be like, oh, There'll be a bunch of little small bubbles or one big bubble, and then you'll be like, oh, there's a leak right there. You know, if you lose two pounds in uh, 12 hours, you know, you're still fine. You can lose that and still be confident that you, your, your uh, pipes are holding. Now that we got the uh, fitting fixed, uh, we're gonna go ahead and run the pressure back up to 100 PSI, let it sit overnight, and uh, see if it holds. Hopefully it does, and that way we'll be ready to rock and roll. Literally rock and roll. <laughs> Horny jokes, come on. <laughs> Held uh, 100 PSI overnight, so I think we're good to go. Pass the pressure test so we can put this set of tools away. We are done with plumbing. We got the drywall up the hill. That was a lot of fun, huh? So uh, now we got it up the hill, so it's unloaded, bring it in the building, let it warm up, and then uh, get it hung. So uh, pretty exciting stuff on the drywall. As you can see we have these timber beams and we wound up putting some, uh, some painters tape and uh, this is going to allow us to come in here and mud this, get this edge nice and mudded. There's going to be some, uh, some L bracket corners, basically mud corners um, and that way you get a nice clean edge and then later on when we get this done and then it's painted then we can come back with a razor knife and just easily trim that off. So anywhere the, in the house that uh, the sheetrock butted up against the timbers, we went ahead and taped and uh, it'll save a lot of time and, and energy and uh, cleaning beams at the end. Uh, when you're hanging drywall, you always want your tapered edges to come together. You don't want tapered edge and then uh, just a cut edge because it's really hard to finish out. When the mudder comes in, he only has to finish out to a 12 inch where sometimes if you butt up two pieces of sheetrock, 
and uh, they call that a butt joint, which is not favorable for drywall uh, mutters because then, the, then they have to feather it out to make that butt joint go away. You can see this, this piece of uh, drywall right here, you'll see that this is half inch width here and then it tapers from here to the end. So it's actually less uh, thick here than it is here. And that's for when you stack the other one, mud it and um, for taping it, it makes really nice. So when you're hanging drywall, always make sure that you're running tapered joints together because it's a lot easier on the mutter. It makes for a real nice finish at the end. What color are you going to paint your room? So this is the attic and it's all done. The drywall is done. It's super exciting to see the upstairs coming together and the kids' bedrooms are all done as well. We're still waiting on some green board to finish off the bathroom and then we're gonna do a wall treatment on the stairwall. So that that's gonna wait, but all in all, we're pretty much done with drywall up here and we cleaned up the space and it's really exciting to see the house coming together. Yeah, it's pretty exciting seeing the rock go up. Um... Kind of almost get to be the uh, end game here shortly for putting in some the rest of the house. Grace is picking she's out paint itch, colors. She's itching to move in, but uh, I gotta hold back the reins a little bit. Yeah. Now we have to take the next four days off to go to a hockey tournament. It's just really nice to have some closure in the house, know everything is good. downstairs and just working on things, getting the main level done. Yeah, See you next week. week.